Hello everyone, welcome back to Combat Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. So I took a little bit of break for two weeks because we were having festive season in where I stay. And after two weeks, I'm back again and hopefully with regular uploads. So today we shall start another communicable disease that is acute diarrheal diseases. To begin with, let us try to understand what is diarrhea. Diarrhea is any passage of loose liquid or watery stool. So if the consistency becomes soft, especially if it is loose, liquid or watery, then it is considered as diarrhea. Generally, these liquid stools are passed more than three times a day. But what is more important to define as a diarrhea is the change in consistency and characteristics of the stool in recent time rather than how many times the loose stools are being passed. So please focus on whether there has been any change in the consistency and character of the stools rather than whether the person is passing stools very frequently that is more than three times a day. There are different clinical types of diarrhea. For example, acute watery diarrhea, acute bloody diarrhea, persistent diarrhea, diarrhea with severe malnutrition. We shall discuss them individually. Acute watery diarrhea can persist for several hours to many days. The main danger is dehydration because the person loses water along with stools. Weight loss also occurs if feeding is not continued and the pathogens which are very much responsible for acute diarrhea include Vibrio cholerae or E. coli. Also, if we consider virus, then rotavirus is the most common organism. Next is acute bloody diarrhea, which is also known as dysentery. The main danger are the damage of the intestinal mucosa, sepsis and malnutrition. Other complications can include dehydration. There is visible blood present in the stool, hence the name the bloody diarrhea, also known as dysentery. The most common cause of bloody diarrhea is the Shigella, which is a bacteria and it is also the most common cause of severe cases. Persistent diarrhea is when the diarrhea persists for 14 days or longer. So if a person is having an episode of diarrhea for at least two weeks, then it is considered as persistent diarrhea. The main danger is the malnutrition and serious non-intestinal infection. Dehydration can occur. Generally, people with certain illness like HIV infection AIDS who have suppressed immunity are more likely to develop persistent diarrhea. Diarrhea can also occur with severe malnutrition, especially protein energy malnutrition like marasma, squash, yorker, etc. The main dangers are the severe systemic infection, dehydration, heart failure, vitamin and mineral deficiency. Problem statement. Diarrhea is considered as one of the most common or leading causes behind under 5 mortality all over the world. Now the unfortunate matter is the disease is both preventable and treatable. That means we can prevent an episode of diarrhea and also if the episode occurs there is treatment available against it. Even after that we are having so many cases and so many deaths. Globally, there are about 1.7 billion cases of childhood diarrhea every year. A significant proportion of those cases can be prevented through provision of safe drinking water, generating awareness among people regarding adequate sanitation and hygiene, etc. Every year, the number of under 5 mortality from diarrhea is approximately 5,25,000. If we look at the data from 2019, we see 
that diarrhea contributed 9% of all the causes behind under 5 mortality. Now, if we translate this data into pure numbers, we shall have about 1300 under 5 child dying from diarrhea every day or about 484,000 children dying from diarrhea every year, even though we have very simple treatment available against diarrhea. Diarrhea is also known as one of the major causes behind malnutrition in under 5 children. From this map, where we have uh, sh uh, used different shades for different colors, the darker shade means higher under 5 mortality because of diarrhea. We can see the most of the diarrheal deaths in under 5 children occurring in the sub-Saharan Africa as well as in the South Asian region. Of all the diarrheal deaths in under 5 children, India contribute about 7% of those. Agent factors include different bacteria, virus and other organisms. So the list of bacteria include Campylobacter jejuni, Enterotoxigenic E. coli that is ETAC, Shigella salmonella, Vibrio cholerae, Vibrio parahemolyticus, Bacillus cereus, Staph aureus, Clostridium perfringens, Enterohemorrhagic E. coli or EHEC, we have Enteroinvasive E. coli or EIEC, Clostridium difficile, Eromonas, Yersinia, Chlamydia, Nigeria, etc. There are other bacteria which can cause diarrhea but uh, they are not very common. Virus include rotavirus, astrovirus, adenovirus, calcivirus, coronavirus, Norwalk group of viruses, enterovirus, cytomegalovirus. But remember, rotavirus is the most common reason uh, for diarrheal episodes in under 5 children. Others uh, include some parasites, some worms, helminths, etc. like Entamoeba histolytica, Giardia intestinalis, Trichuriasis, Cryptosporidium species, intestinal worms, Cyclospora, etc. Host factors. First, age, which is probably the most important host factors uh, to have association with diarrhea. So, diarrhea is prevalent across all age group, but it is more common among the under 5 children, especially in the age group of 6 months to 2 years. But the incidence is highest in the age group of 6 months to 11 months, that means among the infants. Malnutrition can lead to suppressed immunity and then can lead to infections and infections can cause diarrhea. Diarrhea in turn again can cause malnutrition. So, this vicious cycle goes on. Poverty, prematurity, reduced gastric acidity, immunodeficiency, lack of personal and domestic hygiene, incurrent feeding practices, all are considered as contributory factors for diarrhea. Environmental factor, especially the temperature of the climate can have some role on causation of diarrhea. So, in temperate climates, the bacterial diarrhea occur more frequently during the warm season, whereas during the winter season, the viral diarrhea, especially the rotavirus, uh, occur more commonly. In tropical countries like India, uh, the rotaviral diarrhea occurs throughout the year. So, it can occur at any time, but the frequency is increased during the dry or cool months, whereas the bacterial diarrhea is more common during the warmer season or the rainy seasons. So, before, during and after the monsoon. Mode of transmission, the organism causing the diarrheal episodes are primarily or exclusively transmitted by fecal root and this fecal transmission can be waterborne or foodborne which means the food that we are consuming or the water that we are drinking or using for domestic purpose like uh, cleaning utensil cooking etc can be contaminated with fecal matter and because of that when we are consuming the food or drinking the water we are getting infected the, there is also possibility of direct transmission by fingers, fomites, dart, etc., which may be ingested by the young children. So, this is a common habit by the young children that they touch everything, every surface, and they put their fingers or hand back into their mouth. 
and by that method they can be infected so with this we we uh, conclude today's session where we learned uh, what is diarrhea the different types of diarrhea what are the organisms responsible for diarrhea the host factors environmental factors as well as the mode of transmission if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates juniors and friends from other colleges we also have our facebook page which you can share the link is given in the description take care and we shall see you in our next video